awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that's awesome, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do unboxings, makeup try-ons, and occasionally I throw something else in to keep you on your toes. And today, we are going to be reviewing my hard candy palette that I just got. If you're interested in that, stay tuned. Today, I want to do a try-on first impression slash review of the Hard Candy palette I got from Kimmy's um, boxes, and these are the shades. It does have a little mirror with it. It comes with these, but I just am keeping those taped there. Probably put those off to the side for my granddaughter to use. Um, they have the shades on the back. I already swatched them, so I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to start from the top and go down. So the top shade is Stay Golden, then Pop the Bubble, Expensive Taste, Gold Digger, Pot of Gold, Give Me More, Crown Jewels and Ruby Affair. And then we have Royal Princess, Heart of Gold, 24 Karat Gold, Money, Hungry, Hidden, Treasures, Rich and Famous, and then Gold Mine. I had never heard of Hard Candy. And so I googled it and I think it's a Walmart brand because when you're going through it at the bottom of it it says um, get from Walmart or whatever and I really hope so because I like live at Walmart and um, if this is a good palette then um, it's cheap too because I was looking at the prices online and I was like dang them some really good prices so I am hoping, hoping, hoping that this palette is going to be super nice. So I'm going to put that color there on my eye for like a base. They all have, it's like a shimmer palette, um, but like not that bad of shimmer. When I was swatching it, it felt super, super creamy. Um, I don't know if creamy is the word for it, but it wasn't dry and powdery, so I liked that a lot. I'm sure I'm going to love it. And of course, no primer, because I got to see if it's going to work without primer. I'm going to go in with this color here. I'm going to put that right here in the corner of my eye. look much darker than the other one. That's not good. Let's see if we can build it up. A little bit. That's good. Just blending it super well. So are we getting excited? Just a couple more days and then we get to find out who the winner of the giveaway is. And I'm going to go down to this color here. And I'm still using the same brush. I'm going to tap that here. Oh, I do like it. So far, it seems to be blendable or buildable. I don't know. I haven't blended it together yet. Um, I might need to grab a different brush, though, because this is kind of a blendy brush and not a packy brush. So let me do that. Let me take a different brush here and just see if I can get that color a little darker. Oh yeah, you just gotta use the right brush with it. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. And I think I would like to finish it off with this little shiny yellowish color. 
Like, I think it's called the 24 karat gold. Oh, look at that. I would say it's more of a light yellow than a gold. But, so this palette, it might get darker when you build it up if you use a primer. I'm not sure. Or it may be um, just like soft colors, I think, is what they call them. So if they're not called soft colors and you know what they're called, tell me down below. I'm going to grab my little blendy brush here and we're just going to see if it stays or if it goes. It looks like it stays. More of that green color. I'm going to stick it under here. Uh, once I looked really good, I realized that the green kind of faded away a little bit. So I did have to go in and pop it off again. I'm taking that color there. Or no. <laughs> Wrong color. That color there. And I'm just putting it under here. Alright, so it wasn't a bad palette. I do want to try it with primer the next time I use it to see if the colors will darken up. Because um, if not, um, I don't know if I'll use it that much because yeah, there is color, but it's not very pigmented. So um, I'm just not sure yeah, I'm shaking it to try to get it to work. I guess um, it would be more like used for if I went to a wedding or um, a birthday party or something like that where I wanted color but I didn't want to um, be the life of the party because my eyes are you know so much brighter than everybody else's because out of the few people that I do hang out with occasionally they wear makeup also, but um, they mainly wear like more neutral looks than I do the more, you know, pinks and blues and purples and all of those looks. So I found with this um, mascara, mascara, I always call it a mascara. I think it's because it's so thick. With this eyeliner that I'm using, um, which is my big fat liner by Rockins, if somebody's here that doesn't know that already. But if you shake it up really good, it has been letting me use it for both of my eyes without like feeling like it's drying up. Which is super awesome, I think. Because I like it and I don't want it to run out yet. Okay, so I want to use a different eyeliner for my bottom line. I think I'm going to use my Urban Decay 24-7 liner. I'm just put it on the edge of the waterline. And then back to my favorite mascara, which is... My Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. I do hope for a sister that I got um, from Allure. I don't remember the name of it. I have it put up right now, but it's not the Mile High um, brand. But I do hope it is just as good when I run out of this. Because I absolutely love this mascara. And now that I know, all you got to do is pinch this and take it up. And you have even more mascara when you think you're running out, and it's even better. I think they have, they should have all mascaras like that. So that way you can actually get the product out that you're paying for. I'm really not liking these Lily Lash Mascara. Um, I don't know, I don't like the wand. I think that it's too clumpy compared to my tart. C curling surfing mascara but that is like it's not completely dry but it's like drying out enough to where it's annoying and um, 
I just, you know, I just want a good mascara. Okay, I need to find a good lipstick for this. So I think we'll do Sunset um, Belvedere from my Folly Fire collection. Might be a perfect fit. I don't want my lips to be too bold. Because my eyes are like... I feel like they're folly because it has yellows, greens, and like a brown color. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful. I just don't think they're that dark, but it's more like a neutral color look like. But my eyes are shiny. And I like how the eyes are shiny part. So my hair is up. Let me take it down. And that is what it would look like, but I would have to brush it. I don't brush my hair a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. No, I haven't brushed it yet today because um, I'm super weird. I washed it yesterday, so I won't brush it till tomorrow. I don't know why I do that. I only brush my hair when my hair is dry, and I only put a brush in it the day after I wash it, if I absolutely have to. But if I don't have to, then I let it completely dry and then I wait another day before I brush it. So, most of the time, that's why I wear my hair up or whatever. So that way people can't really tell. Let me know in the comments below, have you ever tried hard candy makeup? Um, did you like it? Didn't you like it? I did like how it goes on. Um, I did like how it was buildable. Um, the green did blend away when I was um, blending it. So um, I, do, I will do my next look with primer to see if that helps. But with all of that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome. Peace.